，谢谢。entrepreneur from abroad who wants to buy this piece of land he said no but actually it would be very nice if you could find person because it has a hotel destination at that time we took the liberty to connect with some people some lawyers and after a little while after about uh, three months I'm very happy mr. Sang Chunze he came around and he immediately fell in love with Delft and since then this hotel has been set up and actually a lot of things have happened. Uh, today we are having another festivity and today we will have the honor to meet the people, to meet and to listen to Mr. Sang Chunze. But actually before we do that, I would also like to tell you a little bit about Mr. Tsang and his operation in China. Mr. Tsang is a very modest person. Uh, Mr. Zhang, like now, he stands behind, and actually we should put the sunshine on him. Mr. Zhang is the biggest investor in the Netherlands, and we should really keep it in mind. Mr. Zhang did a lot of things. He not only invested in Delft, but he also invested even in the city of The Hague by making the two gates. And the two gates in The Hague, you probably have read a lot about them, because they are the most beautiful gates, and it put the city of The Hague on the map, because the Hague is at this moment the only city in Europe that has two gates. London has one, The Hague has two. Thanks to Mr. Chang. Mr. Chang, I remember we went to his hotel and to his restaurant and to his real estate in Shanghai. And at a certain moment, somebody moved at the table and I said, well, very nice to meet you. He says, well, I'm uh, Mr. So and so. And then Mr. Chang told me, this is the district mayor. Well, district mayor of Shanghai, I'm sure you will imagine what that means. If you talk about the district of Shanghai, you're talking about a district of about, let's say, six or seven million people, half the size of the Nels. And this gentleman was just sitting next to Mr. Tsang and saying, hey, this is a great, you know, I've never met somebody from Holland. Uh, Ni hao, how are you? And uh, what do you want to do? I said, well, we're trying to help Mr. Tsang. He said, oh, well, this is great, you know. Mr. Chang, I'm very proud of him. But did you know in my district, we have a few thousand Mr. Tsangs. They're all multi-millionaires, billionaires. And I was, honestly, I was very impressed. And Mr. Tsang was just sitting there and nodding very kindly. This is something, you know, it's creating Mr. Tsang and his wife, modesty at all. Ladies and gentlemen, this hotel is something that we feel like a little baby of our agency. I work for the West Holland Foreign Investment Agency. The West Holland Foreign Investment Agency, in Dutch we say the VFIA, is an organization that helps foreign entrepreneurs, foreign companies to set up business in Europe, in Holland, in West Holland. The people I would like to say, we would like to have in Holland as many Mr. Tsangs as there are. Today, we will help him with the program. Today, it's our honor to make the program work. And as the first speaker of today, I'm very proud. It's a person 
who has a long career in diplomacy. It's a person, the last time he was active in Finland, I don't, actually, I hope maybe he can say something in Finnish. Finnish. <laughs> it's a very difficult language. I have the pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Li Fei, the commercial counselor of the embassy from China. Mr. Li Fei, the floor is yours. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel very pleased and honored to attend today's event, the grand opening of Shanghai Hotel in Delft. First of all, on behalf of the Chinese Embassy in the Netherlands, I'd like to extend my warm congratulations to the stakeholders of the hotel and sincere thanks to all of you who come to witness the opening, which shows your long-term support for the hotel as well as Chinese investment in this country. Shanghai Hotel is the very first Chinese investment of its kind in the Netherlands. Though it has some difficulties in the past, I believe the past will pass and the bright future is there. Because I'm confident that they have a very good team here, a responsible investor, a qualified and competent manager, friendly staff and good hardware. I think all of us have felt that already today. We appreciate efforts and policy by the Dutch government in attracting Chinese investment to the Netherlands and also your help to Chinese companies established here. Any new investment is like a flower which needs attention, sunshine and nutrition in order to flourish. Shanghai Hotel is no exception. I do hope that all of you could support it, give help when they are in need, help when they are in difficulties. The Chinese embassy will always support Chinese investment in the Netherlands, like we have always been doing before. I wish to some extent this hotel could serve as a platform for the cooperation between the Netherlands and China. And at the same time, I believe the hotel will do its business by abiding local laws and regulations, caring for your staff, taking your re reasonable corporate responsibility. In short, to be a good and responsible citizen here in the Netherlands. Once again, thank you all to this grand opening and wish you and Shanghai Hotel all the best. Zhishi 我总共用了一千三百万欧元做了这个酒店我决定收回这个酒店的管理极强美好
This is Zazada Bus from the hotel and restaurant in the Tukong. This is our Shiliu advice of help a craft on Thank you very much. Thank you very much. From last year, we started the hotel and restaurant in the Tukong. From this time, we have successfully received the new Tukong 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 新年微峰会，以及综合文化交流的研讨会和工工商银行荷兰银行的一个联会，通过这半年的演院，标志着我们自己的管理团队将走上正轨。在此机会，我再次感谢各位同仁对我们的帮助，也感谢酒店的员工辛勤的努力和出色的工作，特别是对。员工所有的家人的理解和支持，表示感谢。上海龙虎门大酒店、上海花园饭店，在未来的发展过程中，始终把综合文化经济交流平台作为我们的经营目标。围绕这个目标，我们需要所有的员工和我一道共同的努力，更需要荷兰政府和中国大使馆以及在座的各位先生、女士的大力支持。最后，祝大家身体健康，万事如意。让我们欢呼明天更美好。A p r o p o s and cheers for the better to come. Ladies and gentlemen,、uh, I have the honor also now to present our third speaker.、Uh, she's a lady who made a lot of experience in foreign direct investment, first in Amsterdam and the past ten years at the West Holland Foreign Investment Agency. She is actually the driving force behind our team, and she also made it possible that we helped Mr. Tsang to build this hotel. May I have your warm applause for Mrs. Imanda Wabner? Dear Mr. Tsang, dear Mrs. Yu, dear Mr. Tsang, Mr. Li, and other guests, I'm very happy to be able to stand here. Uh, with you to celebrate the reopening of this beautiful Shanghai hotel. The presence of a prestigious Chinese hotel is very important for enhancing Chinese tourism in the Netherlands. It is very important for Delft, it is very important for The Hague and for Rotterdam, as it is located right in the middle of this region. Mr. Tsang, I know the mayor of Delft, Mr. Bas Verkerk, would have loved to be here, but unfortunately he wasn't able to. Together with Mr. Verkerk, I visited Mr. Tang's hotel in Shanghai a couple of years ago. Already at that time, those two gentlemen got along very well and laid the foundation. Of this hotel at the time, and their cooperation, their good cooperation, is still going on today. Mrs. Yu, I want to make her a big compliment. After an initial flying start in 2008, a few years later, the hotel has gone through a very difficult period, and it was Mrs. Yu's assignment. To totally reorganize the organization, to restart the business, and go for four-star quality, she has managed wonderfully. She has done miracles. The hotel is now a wonderful, in a wonderful state. The organization is running smoothly. The hotel has a new name and a new experience management. For the restaurant in the hands of Mr. Hu, and what is per per、uh, perhaps most important is that Mrs. Yu was able to create a large network among the companies in this region and to sign several new long-term contracts, and regular clients keep coming in. Mr. Tang, Mrs. Yu, we are very happy with your investment. In the hotel and your efforts to put it to make it a success, 
and we wish the Shanghai Hotel good luck and a very prosperous future. Thank you, Mrs. Wavenaar. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have reached a very important moment now. Uh, we now will start cutting the ribbon. And uh, may I invite Mr. Tsang Jianzhen, Councillor Li, Mr. Tsao, Mrs. Wapenaar, Mr. Wang, Mr. Sky, and Mr. Hu for the opening ceremonies, cutting the ribbon. Thank <laughs> you. 
人事部，在大家在这里，我们你应该已经知道了，就是要想呢，陈师傅跟大家说几句。还有呢，陈师傅先到我们的岳父跟着我父亲敬一拜谢，因为我们是长辈。还有，陈师傅，你来先，我跟大家说一下，谢谢。我们有特别要说的，今天大家来。大家都很开心，希望吃得开心，大家会又会的开心。这个开心可以带来很多的福气。希望大家今天带着开心来，带着开心回家。谢谢谢谢。在这里，我向大家各位朋友为我们的共同事业而干杯。